you doing today? Welcome to Life with Bilsif. I'm your host, Bilsif. Well, since it's like 70 Fahrenheit out today, which is about 22, yeah, 22 on a February, I'm going to pull the truck out today, and I'm going to pull the seat out, because my seat, as you know, is punched out, so when you sit in the truck, you're really low. So I want to pull the seat back out, and I want to put some padding in it, so we can make it more comfortable for my ass. So the first thing I want to do is I want to clean the crap off the truck. Of course, it becomes a collect-all when you're not using it. Captain, actually you didn't collect too much though. That's not too bad. Just a few Christmas lights and a camera and a drill. That's not bad. No, it's not bad. We're almost there, Jim. The only thing is, it is windier than dicks out again, but that's okay. We'll take the windier than dicks. Let's get this cover off. We'll get it fired up and we'll get her out the door. Because I can't really do it in here because there's not enough room to open the damn doors. <gasps> What's that? Mega stuffed. I forgot about them. Hiding under the old tunnel cover. I need them, don't I? Shh, don't tell anybody. It's our secret. Then I wonder why I'm fired. Captain. I don't care. Who gives a shit? You're either unhappy or fat. Take your pick. All right, let's see if this thing will run. <clears throat> prime it. 10 volt, prime it. 10 volt, prime it. And here we go. Watch your oil pressure, Jim. Get that oil pressure up to the engine. Let's see if we can back this out before it stinks my garage up. Break. Not too bad. We'll actually let her run here, warm up. This is my piston slot, pretty good, eh? I see the transmission is still leaking a little bit. Not bad. All these old transmissions leak in the winter time though. Let's face fact, let's do her. Piston slap, how you doing? So how I'm gonna do it this time is I'm just gonna pull the back off first. So I don't have to kill myself. Okay, so there's a screw there, a screw there, and a screw there. Let's do her. Shorty, 10 4 Hope they got this camera in the right position this time because you normally struggle with this camera. You guys know that. So pull that screw off. Oh, there's two. We'll pull this screw off. Good. Then we'll pull this screw out. Oh, there's not one there. Oh, there's one down there. Why wouldn't there be? But that's okay. We shouldn't need it to get the seat back off. Should be able to zip her out of there. Good time to clean the friggin' interior out. Sometimes you have to pull the seats to clean the interior. Well, that's the way it works. Actually, there's two screws in there. But we should be able to get that one out too. So what we're gonna need is this, that. I'm hoping it's not any bigger. Let's get this just in case. 50 pounds of oil pressure ain't bad. We'll play with that. Air bolt. Oh, maybe I can't get it out. Come on, baby. Rig. I did. There's one. Oh, fuck. There's two. Half. Ow. Now. We need to take these ones out and unplug the seatbelt doodad. Unplug the seatbelt doodad, I said. I said, unplug the seatbelt doodad. I said, I said, unplug the seatbelt doodad. Oh my God. I don't know what size these are. I can't remember. 
Here's that one. Oh, that's a really big. Actually, we don't need to take, yes we do. Whew, there it is. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. An amplifier. How you doing? Better turn that off. Done for. I got a treat for you. If you're wondering why I'm taking the seat belts off, you'll see. You'll see. You're gonna like it, dude. Okay, so that's that one. Now, the front. That thing never stays on the windshield. It's the nice thing about a bench seat, you only got four bolts. Well, unless you're taking the seat belt off, I guess. Whew. We have to never see this one. I probably cross thread it. Sure did. Come on. Did I cross thread it or did I just thread it with carpet? Oh yeah. How you doing? All right, so there we go. So that's off. So now I can just, holy cow, look at the stuff under here, Jim. Drop the seat belts out or take them in, put them up. And then we can get the seat out. To get the seat out, I think I'm gonna tip forward so don't wreck the carpet or scratch anything. There we go. Seat's out. Easy peasy. Look at the shit in here. We got paycheck, money, and cords. Love you letters. How you doing? There's my amp tuning screwdriver. What? We only have friggin' 35 cents? What's really going on? What a rip off. Oh yeah. I can't remember what's what here. Up. that one so this one can go away this can come out of here some old binoculars and then we got seat belts which i keep forgetting to grab the pick tool for that i do have another treat for you so don't leave yet i haven't showed you yet i gotta get the carpet out and then i'll show you see if you can guess i think i need a longer screw just saying and for Carpet, out. Carpet, not out. What's that? Screw? I forgot I screwed that and folded it and I didn't want to cut the carpet. So he cheated. I don't want to cut the carpet, Captain. There we go, decent. Pull this out and we should be able to lift the carpet out of here. Sure can, Captain. We'll be able to clean this carpet real good now. Hey, okay. yeah. All right. Well, the old girl still looks mint, big time. I was gonna put some shingles in here on the roof over the blue skin, but I decided not to go with any shingles. So we just went with a blue skin, and that's it. No shingles, Captain. So I got the shifter for the step van, but since the old Chevy Silverado here. It's kind of done and ready to drive. As you know, it's a three speed on the tree. And as you know, I put a 7R4 skins in it. So I decided that maybe it's time that we uh, install ourselves a shifter into the old Chevy Silverado, a floor shifter, I would say, which can go right about here, which is means I can't use my coffee holder. Frig. Which means, dicks. Which means, it is what it is, I guess. Which means that thing don't stay up either. What happened to that thing? Oh, well, we'll figure that out in a minute. So yeah, B&M shifter, Captain. What do you think? So it's gotta go right about like that. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you right now. How much room do we have where the hump is, where the transmission is too? We gotta remember that. Let me know in the comments below if I should put a B&M transmission shifter in the truck. Or should I just save it for the van? I guess I could come back to here. Because the seat... I'm going to have to put the seat back in to see. 
We do room with the seat all the way back, so I could probably go back to here even. I really don't want to lose my cup holder, but I'm gonna. Because look at park, it's way up there. Or oh, that's reverse, sorry. Reverse is way up there, Captain. I don't know. Leave your comments down below and let me know what you think of this. Should I put the shifter in here or save it for the step van and just use the old tree Ruski? But like I said, I got a three speed and it's a four speed tranny and it doesn't like to shift too well. And this would add value. This would add like $360 value to the truck when I sell it. But is there enough room under that floor for the shifter linkage? That's the next question. So I'll have to get under the truck and see. I'm sure it will be fine, but I don't know. But I literally took this carpet out in like five minutes not even 10 minutes 15 minutes a few minutes so that was pretty good but i don't know what happened to my door it kind of got all cocked over somehow i guess it's not too bad it's just missing the stay up mechanism why did i how did I, what happened like i don't even remember that being an issue like that that's okay anywho like i said let me know in the comments below if you think i should put the bnm shifter in the old truck or like I said, save for the step van because I'm curious to see what you guys think. I really would like it in this truck because it's cool and I'm driving it this year so I could always take it out later. No, I won't, but I could always do that, right? Huh, I'm really torn, I am. It's even got the boot, see? We can even put a boot on her so it looks how it's supposed to look. And then if I ever get buckets, it'd be cool too. But I do like it so it's... It's nice to rest your hand on it as well. When you're, you know, when you get a shifter in a truck and you can rest your hand on it, it kind of feels good, if you know what I mean. Where's drive? So that's first, second, third, fourth. So fourth is right there. Does it lock? It doesn't lock. So if I lean on it, we could hammer this thing right in the first by accident. Whoops. Why isn't there a lock there? Hmm. Is this a neutral safety? It's a neutral safety. Neutral safety switch. Well, it's not decent. Oh, sorry about that. Neutral safety switch is not decent. Well, I guess I did what I wanted to do tonight, didn't I? I wanted to get the carpet out, the seat out so I can fix the seat so I don't sit so low. Perfect. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification. Let me know if you want to see the next video on this. I'll see you on the next one. Captain.